Okay. I've got another video for you for this small series I'm doing about uh, different ways that people believe they can be saved. We're finding out through the King James Bible that's not the case. There's only one way of salvation today, through the blood of atonement, the faith in the blood of atonement of Jesus Christ. When he had spilled his blood on the cross, he died and rose again the third day. Now, another one is, I get this all the time, and uh, people say, oh, I'm, I'm saved because I got water baptized, and things like that. So, what I think a lot of people are really getting, that is from the ever-popular uh, confusion of Acts 2.38. We have to rightly divide our Bibles and understand that that was under a different ministry when God was still going only to the Jews for salvation at that time. And then later, around Acts chapter 7, uh, Stephen was stoned and the Lord's like, forget it. So I'm going to offer it to others. As it was from the beginning of time, just that the Lord has his own processes and way he does things. And if we look here, what uh, Peter was preaching... In Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, when they would get water baptized, they would get the Holy Spirit then. Now, you don't get the Holy Spirit for water baptism today. You get the Holy Spirit by, uh, by a different kind of baptism called the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And also, it's interesting because in Acts chapter 1, Jesus speaks of that. Before Jesus ascends into heaven... Jesus said this, he says, For truly, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. So Jesus is telling them, soon we'll be able to spread it to all the world, the gospel, so everybody, whenever, whenever someone gets saved now, they, they, they just get it automatically. It's, you don't have to get water baptized. It's just an automatic thing. If we look at our apostle Paul, we look in Ephesians chapter 1, in 13, and it says, talks about that, how when you become saved, and you hear the gospel, and understand, and believe, then you are saved. And if we look here, if I can find the page, in Ephesians 1, 13, in whom you also trusted, after that ye have heard the word of truth, the gospel, of your salvation, and in whom also after that you believed, and were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So what's happening? All throughout the Bible, especially through the epistles of Paul, you see, you hear the gospel, and then you have it explained to you, meaning you understand it, and then you believe. Believe what? The blood atonement. You believe how Jesus died, was nailed to the cross, Father in heaven, and threw all his wrath uh, upon Jesus, and Jesus was that propitiation, appeasing the wrath of God for all the hatred and anger towards all of our sins. Because Jesus never sinned, he took that in our place. Took that wrath of God in our place. And then he spilled his blood, and every drop of blood that day fell out of him. And the Father in heaven saw that it was sinless and innocent, the blood of God. And Father accepted that as a, a forgiveness of sins. Uh, Jesus also purchased us with, the, with his blood that day. And on that day he died. And for three days he was dead and buried. And on the third day Jesus Christ rose again resurrected. And the faith and understanding in that is how you get saved. Now if we see here, people go say, well, it's clear back to John the Baptist. Okay, sure, there was a time... When people were getting saved with water baptism, they were getting the Holy Spirit then. There was a time when that was happening. But it is not of today. It's of a different time. Now, if we read in chapter 3 of Matthew, we read about John the Baptist. And John the Baptist is bringing Jews in to bring them to repentance, meaning change your mind. Because you're going to get away from the false teachers of the Pharisees, the, Jew, you know, the, the, the religious leaders of the time, because they were corrupt and evil. And come to the Messiah because he's, he's, he's coming soon. And he was bringing it to repentance. People were, you know, getting water baptized to meet the king, Jesus. And uh, in 3.11, John the Baptist says this, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Now, you get a lot of people, spending the, especially the Pentecostals, confused meaning that, uh, that baptism with fire means you're full of the Holy Spirit. That does not mean that at all. Baptism with fire means you're thrown into hell. If you don't want baptized with fire, that's, that's getting thrown into hell. You want baptized with the Holy Ghost. And uh, it's interesting how that works out because, let's see, I believe it's in, uh, I want to say Romans like chapter 1, I believe. And uh, our apostle talks about this. 
And uh, if I can find the verse, actually, I think it's in chapter 1 here. But Paul is talking about how he's only baptized a few of us. He's like, I'm glad I only baptized a few of you. And he goes, uh, I can't remember how many, just a few of you named a few names. And then he goes, I come here to, to preach the gospel, not to water baptize, because it's not necessary today for water baptism. Because, uh, because when it comes down to it, you don't even need water for baptism today. Now in time there was, but not of today. And Paul says here, in, uh, it's actually in chapter 6 in Romans. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace many abound? God forbid. How should we that, uh, that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know you not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like... Uh, as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the, of the Father, even so we also walk in newness of life. Now he's talking about he's talking about how people shouldn't live in sin anymore because you are saved. It doesn't give you, just because all your sins were paid for doesn't give you an excuse to sin. You shouldn't sin. You shouldn't want to. Things like that. He's talking about so that many of us were baptized unto Jesus Christ, were baptism into his death. Now He's talking about a spiritual baptism, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The moment you get saved, the Holy Spirit seals itself to you, as it says in Ephesians uh, 1.13, as I just read. So water baptism really isn't for today. If you like to, I'm not against water baptism, but I don't. I, I want to emphasize very much that water baptism has nothing to do with salvation today. You cannot get the Holy Spirit by water baptism. You get the Holy Spirit the moment you hear the gospel, understand it, and then believe it. You get the Holy Spirit then. You don't need water for anything. Like I said, if you want to get water baptized, know you're already saved, you just want to do it to do it for whatever other reason, by all means, there's nothing wrong with that. And that's fine. But you have to know the water baptism does not save you. I don't know if it'll be uh, back to water baptism to get the Holy Spirit stuff in tribulation. I don't know that. I'm not totally sure. But as of now, in the church age, under the, uh, under the, the preachings of our Apostle Paul, it, there is no water baptism today. Because if there was water baptism, why would our own apostles say, I'm, only, I'm, I'm glad I only baptized a few of you? Because he didn't come there to baptize, he came there to preach. If water baptism was essential for salvation, Paul would have been water baptizing everybody. And that's what Peter was doing. He was doing a water baptism. If you read in First and Second Peter... Peter really starts following Paul's teachings, and Peter starts preaching about the blood atonement and things like that. So things did change over time, because Jesus even said, you know, they're baptizing with water for now, but soon they'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit, which there's no water required for that. But I want to make it clear, a lot of people, I've actually spoken with a lot of people, asking about salvation, oh, I'm saved, I got water baptized. That doesn't do anything, especially today. That was, that was the... Uh, the way of the Jews to get saved. And not only that, that was a sign as well, because people would get, the Jews would get baptized, and they would come out of the water, and they'd have the Holy Spirit, and, and that was a sign. Because the Bible says that the, the Jews seek after a sign, and Greek, the, you know, the Gentiles seek after knowledge. I'm not looking for a sign. I'm reading the Bible. The Bible's what I need to, to learn my information. I'm not looking for signs at all. But it also shows in, uh, in tribulation that there'll be 144,000 that will be showing signs and wonders to uh, show the Jews signs that they'll believe and they'll understand that Jesus was the Messiah they've been waiting for. And on the other hand, you're going to see the Antichrist showing signs of lying wonders to try to deceive people as well, which sadly he will. And you have the two witnesses, which I believe are Moses and Elijah. They'll be uh, in tribulation. They'll be showing signs and wonders and things like that. So it's going to really go back to the Jews in tribulation. If there'll be water baptism in tribulation, I'm not sure. But I do know for now, water baptism is not necessary for salvation. Again, if you want to get water baptized for reasons that have nothing to do with salvation, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not against that at all. But I am against the idea of people getting water baptized thinking it's saving them. It's washing their sins away. The blood of Jesus, the faith in the blood of Jesus is washing your sins away. Not the, not the water baptism. It's not for today. And I hope it helps. And if your church is preaching water baptism for salvation, you might want to get away from that church because they're not preaching the Bible. And uh, I'm going to have some more videos up soon. 
and just stay tuned and be safe.